Hi Scorpio, welcome to your spirit messages for June. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Scorpio, we're going to see what spirit wants to tell you at this time. So we have three oracles here. We're going to pull three cards from each oracle and then we'll clarify with tarot. Please only take the messages as they resonate for you. Not every message here may be for you. So please keep that in mind. We may get a lot of different messages, one big cohesive message. Whatever comes out here, whatever spirit feels like you need to know at this time. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective. It's not a private reading. However, if you would like a private reading, all that information is down below in the description box, as well as a lot of other information. So please do uh, check that out if you would like to. So if everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what Spirit has for Scorpio. For Scorpio. What does Spirit have for Scorpio? We have... Um, the fairies, the mermaids, the unicorns, so I kind of have like a little magical, mythical theme going on this time for your spirit messages. All right, so what do we have for Scorpio spirit, please? What do they need to know? Three most important messages for Scorpio at this time. Well, let's, let's see, what do we have? Oh, nope. Okay, we're going to take these three right here. I'm going to pull them all first. And then we'll clarify with the tarot. So please be patient with the shuffling. Should take two more hoops. All right. So what do we have for Scorpio? If you're new to my channel, you can uh, check out my channel. You like what you see, especially if the, you like the way I read. If you like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. Um, you get about four readings a month right now. Depending on the bonuses, sometimes you get five. And they're all different readings, so there's something for everyone. So if you do subscribe and hit the bell, thank you. And welcome to the family. Get your energy up in here and see if uh, we can get some readings that resonate for you and help you know, share the magic, share the love. Okay, so one more for Scorpio. All right, let's get some unicorns. Decks are listed below also if you're interested in the decks that I'm using. Social media links down there also links to your playlist love in general if this doesn't resonate for you you can check past readings i could consider them all timeless even though they're dated so if something catches your eye i'd say watch it anyway and you can find the spirit messages in the general playlist all right for those of you who are new wondering what other kind of readings i do i do uh, a love connection reading between you and another person. I do singles, new love. I do spirit messages. And then I do um, general readings, whatever energies come out. And then the bonus, I take a little look at everything, depending on uh, what sign had the most views and lights the previous month. I may start doing it that way instead of bonuses for everybody. So if you want your bonus reading, make sure you like and watch all your readings so you can get your bonus reading where we take a look at love and more is what it's called. All right, so let's see what we have here for Scorpio. We have look inside yourself. This is almost reminds me of the hermit energy. So this is about doing that deep diving, that soul searching, finding your way, your path, your light, finding the real you, the true you, what your soul mission, your soul purpose is, what you feel you were born to do, your true identity, being true to yourself. So maybe time to do that. And I get green here. So it could be work around work, career, finance. It could be around your heart chakra, uh, around your stability. Also, growth expansion, however that resonates for you. Get to the tarot, we'll learn more. And we have here vacation. So some of you may need to go on a well need a vacation. We're all kind of on a vacation right now. But if you are still working, if you're an essential worker, I am also an essential worker. Maybe when this is all said and done, you can take a much needed long vacation, especially if you're um, a health worker. Maybe somewhere tropical. I do see a parrot there. So, and we have magic of nature. So needing to get, if you feel like you're kind of living in a bubble, especially if you're not getting out much, you're just kind of staying in, telling you to get out in nature. You know, go for a hike, go for a walk, go to the park. Um, if you can, if it's not too crowded, um, go out in your backyard. If you've got woods in your backyard, just go take a stroll you know, in the woods a little bit or something like that, or nature hike. Here's something, just get out in nature. Appreciate it. 
you know, ground yourself. Breathe in that fresh air. All right. We have a new dawn. The worst is now behind you, and positive new experiences are on the horizon. So a new new day dawning here, happiness, joy, with the sun energy there. You know, I see a little bit of water, so if you've been through an emotional time, some troubling times, some rocky waters, maybe there's been an ending or there's been something something here, but it's telling you there's a new day coming, new things on the horizon, more positive energy coming your way, happiness, joy, success, with the sun energy there coming in, so that's a good energy. We have simplify your life, eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. So especially if you're in lockdown and you are staying home, if you're not working, <laughs> it's a good time now to uh, clean up your house. <laughs> so, and that could be anything. I mean, that could be, you know, eliminating things from your life that are no longer serving you in any way, shape or form. And I hate to say, you know, people, but sometimes, you know, that applies. People, places, things, situations that are no longer serving you. It's time to make things more simple for you instead of complicated. And what else do we have here? Yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. So whatever you're thinking about, whatever your intuition is telling you uh, in a situation or about a person, place, or thing, like I said, it's correct. So listen to that. Listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, because the answer is yes to take action accordingly about a certain situation, especially if it's something where you think somebody has done something wrong or deceived you or I don't know why I'm getting that for some of you. Again, that may not resonate for everyone. But if you feel like something has been a little backstabbing or something is not on the up and up, it's, you know, or you have a bad feeling about a person, place, or thing, trust that. But if, you know, you're not sure about something else, you know, you, you think it may be good or good for you, you're, but not really trusting that, you know, it could be either way. Some of you could be something where you need to trust something that's not good. And some of you are afraid of something new that could be a good, healthy change for you. Um, and you're not trusting that it will be. It, it's like, yes, and take action accordingly. So however that uh, resonates for you. And then we have here exercise, run, walk, swim, or otherwise move your body. This will give you more energy and happiness. Exactly, and with the magic of nature. So maybe you need to go, get out walking, jogging, hiking, or whatever here. Get, or get outside, do something. If you've got a family, do something with your family to get some uh, physical activity to be a little more healthier, especially if we're just sitting around all day. For those of us, not saying that you are, but maybe you know not as active as you used to be as when you were working. You know, It's really telling you here to be more physical in some way. We have love from your parents. No matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can. So, I feel like this here, um, you know, if for some of you, if your parents haven't always been there, if they haven't always been supportive, or they haven't always given you the best advice that you've wanted, or whatever here, or they weren't always there for you, or... I feel like still they loved you and gave you the best life that they knew how to give you or that they could give you. And they gave you the love and support the only way they knew how or the best to their ability. So no matter what your situation is here, good, bad, so-so, I feel like they did the best they could and they loved you as much as they could. Especially if your parents are no longer uh, in the living world. Uh, still, they did the best they could. And there still was a lot of love there. And I think they're still watching over you, protecting you, and always around you. Okay, what else do we have here? Just be yourself. You're a great person. Enjoy being yourself. Again, and this is also about look, look at inside yourself and be yourself. So some of you just need to be who you believe you were naturally born to be. You know, maybe you're just trying to live up to other people's expectations or living the life that others wanted you to live and maybe that was your parents, you know, having a plan for you saying, okay, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to college. You're going to get a job. You're going to be this. You're going to be that. You know, maybe they had it all mapped out for you. And now you're at the point where like, you know what? I just want to be who I believe I truly am or who I was meant to be. Follow my own way, my own path. And it may be time to uh, do that. So a lot of different messages here. So again, however they resonate for you, let's fix my chair. 
Okay, so let's clarify these messages for you, Scorpio. Let's clarify these messages for Scorpio Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Show me what I need to see to clarify these energies for Scorpio. So let's look inside yourself about for Scorpio. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Look inside. Wow. Okay. Let me take that. Well, we'll take... Not sure about that one. Put it on the top, but let's take these two. So they came out sideways, but we do have the Four of Swords and we do have the Page of Pentacles. So again, look inside yourself. This is that thinking, um, healing, contemplating, retreating kind of energy. Again, also, it's kind of like the minor of the Hermit. About finding your way, your path, your light. Healing, retreating, resting, recuperating kind of energy and thinking. Could be about an offer coming in, uh, something solid, and maybe it's something that you feel is more suited for you. It's a better option for you. It is Maybe it's not something that others expect of you or you are expected to do. Maybe it's like, okay, I have this opportunity coming in that it's like you almost have it, but you got your eyes closed like, you know, if I take it, I don't feel like it's right because... Maybe others expected you, um, like I said, to live a certain other kind of life. And you're like, you know what? This is more suited for me. So, you know, I may be taking it here. So thinking, contemplating here and going inside yourself. And do I take this? Do I not take this? So it could be about an offer. could be, you know, career or something like that, I'm feeling. So Spirit says, you know, whoa, those went flying to, uh, you know, look inside yourself and really contemplate this offer. But it's solid, it's grounded, it's secure, it's stable, something that could be for the long term. You could build for the future. So really think about that. And again, I have that with the green here about growth, expansion, career, finance, monetary. Opening up your, um, this could open up your heart chakra also. And uh, lead to more stability because fours are about stability. It's got to get these cards that flew on the floor. So we have vacation. So I got the strength and the nine of cups in reverse. So the nine of cups, you know, upright is usually about happiness, joy, you know, and wish fulfillment. But in reverse, we're not so happy. We're kind of feeling blah, you know, we're not happy where we are. Kind of feeling like this isn't what I always wish to do uh, kind of energy. But we have strength here. We're just muddling through, you know, with all our strength, courage, determination, taming ourselves from within, just like hoping and wishing for a vacation. <laughs> it's like, you know, your dream and wish is maybe to have a vacation. And it's like right now in these times, it's like it's not happening. So we're kind of unhappy right now. And we're just muddling through with all our strength and courage here. So it's kind of an odd message. So that could be a message for some who, you know, are unable to take a vacation. And they're just muddling through from day to day until this whole thing is over. Okay, let's get, know, let's get another one on that. Another one on that. I feel like very unhappy right now. It's like I just, I need a long needed vacation. I need it. And it's taking all my strength just to go do what I got to do every single day. Yeah, it could be around, you know, your work, career, and finances here with the Ten of Pentacles. No, you could be, you know, making your money, your fine uh, kind of energy. You have a happy home and stable life. Some of you could be married, but you're just feeling like overworked, overtired, and you just need a vacation here. So hopefully that'll be coming up by summertime where, you know, be able to take many, many, uh, for a lot of people, you know, much needed vacation. So spirit watches, or definitely by fall, because pentacles are fall and cups of summer. Strength uh, represents Leo, that's summer, so I see summer into fall. So hopefully by then we'll be getting a much needed vacation. Maybe you could take two weeks. All right, so let's see what magic of nature is about for Scorpio. So we have the Eight of Swords and Death. Ooh. So I feel like, you know, death here is about... Things coming to an end, you know, letting it end naturally, but it's also about rebirth, transition, transformation, and healing. So, Eight of Swords, though, being like trapped, you know, some of you might feel like, you know, I just can't wait for this to be over, you know, feeling mentally trapped and bound, you know, stuck. 
and uh, waiting for, you know, death. I don't think anyone's going to die here, but just waiting for, you know, the death of the situation where there's massive healing and rebirth and transformation. But until then, again, I feel like, you know, getting out in nature will help uh, help you get out of these uh, stuck energies. We do have, like, the flower here, too. So you, you feel like, you could just feel like very... Uh, in a negative space right now, but I think getting out an energy will, uh, energy, nature will really help your energies here, not feeling so stuck and bound, feeling like everything's just like ending kind of energy. Um, I think you'll just feel like transformed and healed and, um, just better all the way around. You know, it's something maybe you need to do every day because there's no law saying we can't get out in nature or, you know, get outside. So, you have to wear a mask, wear a mask. All right, so let's see. Let's see what a new dawn is about. The worst is now behind you. And positive new exp experiences are on the horizon for Scorpio. Let's get one more. So we have the Two of Cups and the Hermit. So, and I did say up here that look inside you yourself was like the hermit. So now we have the hermit showing up. So this could have been about a love relationship here. Uh, maybe that's behind you now. And you have new experiences coming in. It doesn't doesn't necessarily mean it's a new, rela re new love relationship, though it could be for some that you're really needing to think about here with the hermit energy. Or this is you just taking time alone and retreating from, you know, what you thought was a good relationship. And maybe there's been some... Um, you know, negative energy is behind that, but it's saying now the worst is behind you and new things are coming up here. And we do have the light here and the light here of the sun. So this could be, you know, just being with like-minded people around you, family, friends, uh, kind of energy, someone you, people you see eye to eye with that can help, you know, heal you, nourish you um, kind of energy. So we can have some new energy moving forward. Again, you know, the Hermit is about deep healing and thinking and reflection and soul searching. So you may have people around you that can help you in that process. I feel like this was an ending of a, a relationship you felt was very stable and secure. But you see, she's kind of looking at him like kind of like a side eye. So, all right, so, so good positive experiences coming up so you could have a new love in the future be better than your past love if it's not that then you're just uh doing you and healing and just being with those people that support you love you you see eye to eye with all right so let's see simplify your life eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activity so we have the queen of pentacles so there's your work life for some of you who are still working this is a stable, grounded energy. Somebody who's very independent, makes their money. They're stable, they're grounded. They are practical, smart, and wise. You know, good planners kind of energy. So again, it's about being stable. So I feel like cleaning things out of your life that are no longer serving you, whether it's physical clutter, whatever here, will help you to be more stable. And the king of rods. So... This could be your home life. You know, if you're st stuck home with your significant other, maybe it's time for the two of you just to, you know, gather up your energies here and do some deep cleaning of your home. It's <laughs> kind of what I'm getting. Just eliminate clutter from your home. And that's exactly in work life. So some it's work, some it's home, some it's both. Especially, you know, King of Rods is that fiery passion energy. Go get her energy. So some of you could have a home business. Um, maybe you are working from home or something like that. But it's some way, shape, or form, it's time to eliminate clutter so things can be more balanced and flow easily, however that means for you. All right, so what is yes about? Your intuition is correct. And take action accordingly for Scorpio. So, wow, we got a lot of people coming through here. So you may have a lot of friends or family helping you um, <laughs> in your situations here. But we have the Eight of Cups. And the Queen of Swords. Wow. So whatever your intuition is correct, this is about walking away from something no longer serving you. And the Queen of Swords here, you know, is that air energy. And to me, it's always like divine clarity from source, divine intervention, shedding truth and light on a situation. 
So if you're thinking here, you know, I need to walk away from a situation, could be a person, place, thing, or whatever here, no longer serving you, like I said, um, if you feel like somebody's not on the up and up, you don't have a good feeling about something, someone, situation, whatever here, this is like the Divine Clarity card, you know, putting up your sword, blocking that energy and walking away, taking that action, action with that sword, or speaking your truth, or having that clarity, What's no longer serving you or walking and turning you back from that energy. So if you feel that's something you need to do, that's what I felt, um, then you need to do that, Scorpio. That's what Spirit wants you to know. Don't hesitate to use that sword if you need to. I don't mean physically, you know, hurting someone, but um, cutting that tie, uh, standing up for yourself, not backing down, telling it like it is, having that full clarity. All right, so what is the exercise about for Scorpio? So we have the Magician, so manifesting a brand new beginning here. And the Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, <laughs> this is slow, steady, practical, wise, you know, stable, grounded energy, though. So I just feel like some of you definitely need to get out. Maybe it's a slow process here. Or maybe, you know... It takes a lot for you to get going, you know, to get out there and make it happen. But again, needing to be practical and wise about this, that in order to, you know, if you're trying to manifest something new and you feel just like blah and like just not physically good or even have mental fog or something like that, exercise can really lift all that energy so that we can move forward in a more stable, grounded energy, be more, you know, with ourselves to make more practical, stable um, movement forward, especially if you're trying to manifest something new here. Okay, so definitely, you know, gets everything flowing, so exercise, so it's a good energy. So love from your parents, no matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can. What is that about for Scorpio? Spirit, please, thank you so much. The Emperor, definitely Father Energy here, and the Two of Rods. So the Two of Rods about being at crossroads and not sure, you know, what to do, where to go, what path to take. But the Emperor definitely can be a father figure. I feel like maybe you had parents here, didn't always know exactly what to do, where to go, what path to take, what is the best option. But I do feel like here they did the best they could you know, whatever, with whatever they had or to the best of their ability or knowledge or wisdom or whatever here. You know, sometimes they might have felt stuck and not sure what to do, but I always, I always, you know, I do feel like here they always did what they thought they could or the best they could, especially pertaining maybe around a father figure is, is the emperor or it could be either one here. So, I don't know, I feel like I need one more on that. The chariot, yeah. So whatever crossroads they were at, you know, they felt a little indecisive. They always took action no matter what and always believed it was the best choice, that they would be successful, that it would be balanced. Um, they, you know, a lot of fiery, passionate energy, you know, positive movement forward. So I feel like they always took action. You know, if they felt stuck, they always took action and did the best, made the best choice that they could and made the most and best out of it and made a uh, positive movement forward in some way, shape, or form. Might have moved a lot. You know, maybe you know, that was one thing you disliked in your upbringing because uh, the chariot can be about travel movement. So maybe you moved a lot or traveled a lot also. They could have, you know, had their own business with the emperor energy also or worked for themselves in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, because we have the four of cups here. So I feel like... You know, there could be the energy of like constantly moving or changing homes or changing locations and like, okay, now I gotta make new friends and now, you know, or just feeling like bored and blah, complacent and like, what was me and you know, now no one's gonna like me. I just made new friends, and now we're moving again, I have to make new friends and I just don't know they're gonna accept me the way I you know, in this new environment kind of energy. Wow. Okay. So what is this just be yourself about for Scorpio? Oh, we have Six of Pentacles in reverse. So again, by not being yourself, I feel like you're feeling very... Oh, this is Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Seven, sorry. 
So this is about, you know, making a decision and you know exactly how to invest in yourself. You know exactly the choices you need to make because upright, this is about assessing, analyzing, you know, what to invest, what not to invest. Assessing kind of energy. I feel like you know exactly here, the Seven of Pentacles, like not waiting any longer. You know exactly how you want to invest in your future, invest in yourself, moving forward and just being yourself. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So it's kind of a good energy. Not waiting any longer. It's time to invest in you, in your true self. Yeah, justice. Getting the justice you deserve in life. And, you know, having clarity and balance now. Getting justice, serving justice. Getting the justice you deserve because you were in this energy before of Five of Swords. I feel like I'm not being truly who you were. Just trying to live up to others' expectation and feeling like, you know, this is just a losing battle. It's not worth it. I, this is just not worth it anymore. And now finally, making investments in yourself and the changes you need. You've assessed, you analyzed kind of energy. And now you know exactly what you're going to do here to bring the justice you deserve in your life by being your true self, however that means for you. So, yeah, I feel like here, you know, Seven of Cups, feeling confused, dazed, options, choices, daydreamy kind of energy, like unsure. But now being more in your energy with the Queen of Cups energy. That's your energy. Being uh, more aligned to your true self. She's got her eyes closed. It's like she's just totally aligned with herself now. Peace, happiness, joy in every single way and fulfillment. Her cup is totally full and she's just happy now. So that's what I'm getting for you, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.